Welcome to QA Insights video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to add output value in QTP. What is output value? An output value step is a step in which one or more values are captured at a specific point in your test and stored for the duration of the run session. The values can be later be used as input at a different point in your script. You can output the property values of any object. Also, you can output values from even text strings, table cells, databases and XML documents. In this tutorial, we will see how to add output value in flight application. So here I'm just going to record flight application and I'm going to place an order. So our aim is to retrieve the order number during the run session and it should display in your screen. So here I'm going to add a sync point. So inserting the order. So due to sync issues, I'm just adding one more sync point here. And to insert an output value, go to insert menu, select output value and select standard output value. Click on the object so it will display the order number text box object. Select this particular object where you want to add a output value step. Click on OK. So output value properties dialog box will display the various properties and its values. So our aim is to retrieve the text that is an order number from the flight. So check this property and click on OK. And I'm just exiting out and stop the script. So in the data table you could see there is a one column has been added order underscore number underscore text underscore out. So this particular column will hold the value that is an order number during the run session. So I'm just inserting a message box just to validate whether it has picked the right uh, retrieved the right value. So I'm just going to execute the script. So this is the order number which has been retrieved using the output step value and also you could see uh, the message box and also the value you can see in the data table. So just click on OK. And also you can see the values in the results window. So just click on runtime data table. So here you could see the order number. So this is how you retrieve the values during the run session and get it stored and you can reuse the values across your scripts. Thank you.